Guys, very quickly before this trial, I just wanted to give a quick mention to another company by the name of Petite. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Um, it's spelled P-E-T-E-T-T-E. -E -T -T -E. Um, they sent me out this very nice iHeart Mac pillow, of course replacing the heart with the Apple logo. This pillow is hand-sewn and made from suede, so it's a little bit softer, in my opinion, than some of the ones you may have seen made from cotton that other people may have mentioned in the video. Um, this pillow is going to run you about $30.00. It is a little bit steep. Actually, it's 27 to be exact. It is a little bit steep, but it's definitely a well-worth purchase for any sort of Mac lover like myself. So, guys, definitely go check out these pillows. There will be a link in the sidebar. Again, thank you to Petite for sending me out this pillow. Um, and now, guys, here is your tutorial. Hello, good people! Today we have a little bit of a throwback tutorial. When I first started out on YouTube, I would make tutorials on some useful applications that were either fun to use on your Mac, or did something cool. Well, that's what this is today. Today I'm going to show you guys an application that's going to unlock some of the secret features within Apple's Magic Mouse. So we all know that when Apple gave us the Magic Mouse, they didn't give us any sort of multi-gesture capabilities. However, there is a couple applications out there, and I'm going to be showing you guys one of them, that enables multi-touch gestures for the Magic Mouse. This is actually called Magic Prefs, and I'll have a link to it in the sidebar. It sits in the menu bar, but it is also a preference pane. So right here at the top, we have tracking speed, touch sensitivity. But for options for multi-touch gestures, we have clicks and taps, swipes, and drag and pinches. Right, right now, I only have set up for two-finger swipe up for expose and two-finger swipe down for spaces. Now, what's really cool about this application, which is probably one of my favorite features, is that things can get confusing. For example, a drag and pinch, like uh, drag the apple stem right. If I hover over it like I am now, in the real-time graphic display, it will show you what that looks like on the Magic Mouse and what you would have to do. And that goes for all of them. So if I want to do a two-finger pinch, pinch in, it would show you how to do that. Clicks and taps, what one tap in the middle access would be, three-finger tap would be. So it is really cool. And it's very easy to use. We have tracking speed uh, to control the tracking of the Magic Mouse. And then we also have touch sensitivity to make gestures uh, trigger more or trigger less. It's a very easy application to use. There is another one out there called the Better Touch Tool, which also adds multi-gestures to the tracking pad, to any trackpad uh, for the MacBook and MacBook Pro. But I think Magic Press is just a little bit better, but I will have a link to both of those in the sidebar, and I'm going to show you guys a another cool trick with the Magic Mouse. So this next cool trick, I'm going to show you guys how to control your iPod Touch or iPhone using your Magic Mouse. Why someone may want to do this, I actually do not know, but it is pretty cool. Uh, you do want to make sure that your Magic Mouse is disconnected from your computer. Uh, you want to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on on your iDevice. And you want to make sure that you have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. You want to go into Cydia and download BT Stack Mouse. That's BT Stack Mouse. It is in the Big Boss repo, and it's a little application. It's going to look something like that. So I'm just going to launch it. And it's going to search through my devices. I am using the uh, Spec Candy Shell right now for those of you that are interested. And, I'm also, and the theme that you guys may have saw a glimpse of is called Suave. So it found my Apple wireless mouse, so I'm just going to click on that. And right now it's going to bridge the connection between the two. And there we go. So now as you guys can see, actually let me zoom out for you guys. So now, as you guys can see, there is a cursor moving along the screen of my iPod Touch. And it actually corresponds with the Magic Mouse because that's what I'm using to control it. So I'm just going to want to back out. So now I can go through all my stuff. I could launch settings if I need to. And actually, if I now go into settings... There's a thing that says mouse, and this will give me the option to add a secondary and thirdary button to the Magic Mouse, as well as I can control the tracking speed. So I can, the highest it goes is two, uh, the preset is one. Right there, now I can move it 
even faster. So that is another cool trick you can use with your magic mouse.